What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Supermarket Simulator. Last episode, we added the Morse, re er, I'm sorry, Cloning Stalkers mod, uh, which is absolutely insane. I got, um, at the end of the episode, we were down to four stalkers, and they weren't, uh, one of them was still not actually doing anything. And uh, just with a simple reload, it actually fixed it. So now we have like 15 to 20 stalkers right now, <laughs> which I just got a great picture for actually for the thumbnail for the video. Um, right before I started recording this, of like 10 of them just all right in, right in the screen here. <laughs> right in our store stocking up stuff that'll be perfect but if you guys are enjoying this be sure to drop a like in the video show it some love and support if you guys are new around here checking this out be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you guys don't miss out on any videos that we're doing here but look at them they're all just keeping up perfectly fine now even with customers coming in here obviously it's going to get a little crazier once the day goes on but this is absolutely hilarious and amazing so i hope that we're actually not having to pay them a daily fee which i just realized i did not check the config file to see if there's anything um for that but i don't think there is um, but yeah, look, look at them all. There's still just like a ton of them just standing right here waiting to go to work, but we got a bunch of, a bunch of stock in here. Got a couple extra boxes of things, which I'm not too worried about right now getting organized because they're going to obviously be going through a lot here as it is, but, um, I'm hoping it doesn't, yeah, they look like they're working as they should now. There's down, yep, that was the last one I was going to say. It's down to like one or two left in there and they're all moving, blowing around good. I don't know what he was just saying, but that's not going to matter here in a moment because we can take a look at that in just a moment. Um, but yeah, if let's see here what we got. So we got a new mod here today. We have the statistics mod. Finally, somebody developed a mod where we can actually see statistics of each and every item. Um, you guys can see if they're overpriced, uh, expensive for the client, which I guess isn't that, wouldn't that be the same thing? For that, but you guys can also see we have store price and market price for each each item. So we can actually just look through this, see where things are at. We have cheap items or and sold. So we'll be able to see like, Basically, every analytic item here, or every analytic thing on the items to see where things are sitting at. Um, basically, at the end of like the day, or we'll, we'll let it run for a couple days, and we'll see what it looks like, I guess. We'll, we'll kind of pay attention to it in this episode, but we'll come back to it definitely uh, later on once we've gotten some more data from this. But it's just pretty much going to take some time to... Uh, oh, we can actually... I didn't realize that we could flip through different days, too. So I guess it'll be basically day by day, then that'll help us. I thought it was going to be kind of a thing like over time with that. But this is really fun. I'm definitely excited on this. Uh, we got a lot that we can see with this now, which holy crap, I didn't realize that cereal was that expensive. It'd be kind of nice if we could have like a search feature for this, but um, that's okay at the same time. It's not a, it's not the end of the world. It's just based upon how the market list goes as it sits with that. So like I said, we're going to run through today. We'll see how things look. We've got our army of stockers. <laughs> Which is just insane. I love it. Like, look at this. <laughs> okay. I think, like, the storage room is the best, like, representation of how it actually is. Because there are just so many of them constantly coming in in and out of here. Like, oh my god. <laughs> it's actually insane. Like I said, I really... I'm going to keep an eye on, like, our money. And we'll, if we're not, like, gaining much money here, if at all, um, at the end of a couple days, we'll um, then, I guess, go from there with them. Then we know that we're having to pay them each salaries we should be able to see like at the end of our day what our salaries look like in the morning um when it actually when they actually get paid so we'll, we'll know if we're having to pay each and every one of them oh my god this one might be even better look at i guess uh yeah that <laughs> is chaotic i love that holy crap <laughs> okay let's hop on a register here we honestly might need to try to find a way to get even more customers. I think there might be a tweak. I should really look into that with the config file. But, um... Uh, I might have to look at the config file and see if we can up the uh, customer count as well within the more customers mod that we have as well. Because we honestly, at this point now, we just kind of could bump up our customer count because we can actually keep up now with our supply of things in the store. So we can just keep up in everything and making even more and more money. As we go and obviously increasing our leveling up uh, with more XP per customer, obviously, or not more XP per customer, more more customers equal more XP for us. But we have 30 grand now, so that is awesome. Obviously, we're going to have a bunch of, bunch of uh, stock to buy at the end of this day, as always now, <laughs> with having this many stalkers. But this is absolutely amazing. I love it. I'm so glad that someone came up with this. But I'm really excited to dive in more into the um, statistics of it as well, because we've definitely needed something like this for a while now. It'll help us really fine-tune and dig into what items people are saying are finding expensive we can easily monitor prices and um just everything with the with them pretty much 
Holy crap, sir. You got a lot of toilet paper there. Are you preparing for another epidemic or another epidemic? Pandemic. <laughs> okay. We got all of this here, which is 4125 for you, sir. Appreciate it. I like how these guys have the same same skin or like the same face as our uh, Timmy's here, but the same like basically outfit almost as our Jimmy's. Uh, we got 39 frame on a car. That's right. Okay. There you are. I'm getting distracted here. <laughs> I guess they all kind of do have the same face for the guys. No change back. Well, not, not all of them, I guess. Some of them are different. I guess both those guys are the same. Both guys in the suits are the same, which I mean makes sense. A little bit easier not having to develop an entire new, um, entire new skin or entire new character for them. Oh, I thought you were coming to my register. Okay. That's all right though. Like, look at this. Our, I mean, our shelves are not doing great. That's where we're just going to have to basically, one, like I said, once we get the amount of checkouts needed to hire our fourth cashier, we're probably just going to hire the fourth cashier. And then, which honestly, I just figured out a little a little hack to that. So we could actually, I think, get rid of all the all the stalkers except for one and then just clone off of them if we want to try to save the money of not paying for four stalkers even. But I don't know if that would work or not. It might go to four automatically. So I'm not too sure on that. I maybe have to we'll have to test that out and see. I think that there was supposed to be some kind of like ID tag, or maybe it's something that's like in the metadata of the game, not actually something that we can see um, for the clone stalker, so we knew which ones were clones and which ones were actually like, I guess like norm normal people, <laughs> if you want to put it that way. Okay. But anyways, yeah, we got a lot to get ordered up here, so we're definitely gonna have to get on that, even though it's already. Yeah, like, look at our toilet paper aisle. That is completely sold out. That is madness. I'm guessing, yeah, our shelves are empty of toilet paper, so that's our own fault um, for that. But let's get some of these boxes out real quick, too, while we're waiting. Can I? Yeah, we can. Okay. Yeah, like, our shelves are just getting absolutely wrecked throughout the day now. So we really need to um, focus on keeping our inventory supplied. At this point throughout the day. Um, okay. Got 45.50 for you. Okay. Honestly, at this point, what we almost could do is just get rid of all organization in the storage room, which I actually kind of hate doing because we put so much time and effort into that. But literally just have the boxes can go anywhere on the racks, and then we just keep cycling through our market orders and just order whatever we need that's low. That's all, and do it that way instead. And that way we can just keep cycling through the list of things and just ordering stuff as we need them. Because, like, right now, it's basically everything at this point. <laughs> so we almost could do that and then just have things delivered. And, yeah, that might honestly be the way to go. I don't know. And then our game would just turn into, we could we could actually bring our computer right out here so we can still look at the customers be out here in the in the open and then just keep ordering stuff, which actually, speaking of that, there is a tablet mod as well, which maybe we'll, maybe that'll be something we'll check out here in the next episode. That would actually be kind of nice to have that. So then we can just order stuff right from here. I kind of wish we'd done, we've done that already. I kind of wish we would have. But I think that would actually be really helpful for us. So I think that's something that we're going to add in. Because then we can literally just sit at the register, order stuff. And we, like I said, we might end up changing it over to that way, which... Yeah, I don't think we paid like barely any for employee costs there. We have yogurt and chocolate ice cream. Um, which do we even have? Yeah, we think we Is this that's vanilla and strawberry. Yeah, we are out of or no, that's supposed to be chicken. What is the is this the chocolate? Yeah, this is. And then it was yogurt, which I don't know which one it is. Oh, definitely this one. I will go to yeah, two fifteen. On that, there we go. Okay, let's take a look at our statistics as well now. So we actually have a full day worth of information on this. So we'll go back. There we go. Okay, so we've got two people found expensive, which, oh wow, look at that. See, so market is way, way under what our store price is. So we can actually go back. I wish we could adjust the prices from here. That would be kind of cool too, but obviously it's like all oh, just a shelf tag, so... We can't exactly do that. So let's go right to, yeah, it's the normal bread. 
So let's go ahead and... Yeah, look at that. That is actually way different. We'll go 360 for this. And we'll just... We'll just go 350 on it. Okay. So there we go. But now we can kind of look through here randomly and tweak stuff as we need to. Um, okay, so cheese, the normal cheese, we will get adjusted a little down a little ways. I will go like 365 for this. Which obviously I know, I mean, most people are happy with stuff still. We're obviously not going to make everyone happy. But it is what it is with that. We're going to try to do our best to keep everyone happy if we can. Oh yeah, see, look at like this is way, way off. Okay, so, which this will obviously help us with cheap products too, but, um, so the, I guess like cookie, I don't even really know what this is. Yeah, we were way off with that as well. We must have just missed some pricing changes on some of these. Go 550 for that. Okay, uh, let's see here. This is, like I said, this will just really help us try to, excuse me, reorganize stuff basically. I know there is like the price change mod, which we probably could honestly use, but I don't know. We already adjusted this, so we're good with that. Um, couldn't find product. That's all right. That's on us. We got some hand soap. Honestly, hand soap and the uh, dishwasher tablets, I guess we'll we'll look at here. We'll go 20. Oops, not 250. Definitely not 250. 2050, and then the hand soap. We'll go 270 on this. We'll knock it down five cents. Try to keep those people happy if we can. Um, okay. Let's see here. Couldn't find we know. Yeah, we're we just need to beef up our inventory of stuff again. Honestly, everything's looking fairly good here. I think we're priced pretty pretty accordingly with everything. Just those couple of things, definitely. But nothing too crazy, honestly. But it's honestly nice we have all this just right at our right at our fingertips here on the computer. We got some of the new beer that we'll adjust down just a bit, and that is that is it then. Okay. So that is not bad. Which I know we, we were pricing pretty aggressively on these, so I that doesn't surprise me. Honestly, like all the expensive stuff, we just like price really high because it's like it's already expensive. So like 50 cents or a dollar over market isn't that huge of a deal. But yeah, I think we might end up switching over to like that. Like I was saying, instead of having the whole select or organization, which I know I love having. But at this point, like we really don't need it as long as we can just get the items in the store and have enough throughout the day. That's all we really need. We don't really need to have all this crazy organization thing and have a bunch of items of each thing as long as we have the item. Basically, that's all, like I said, all we really need. Yeah, we are completely out of toilet paper. Completely out of chicken. Yeah, I mean, our, our supply of things is just getting absolutely wrecked. Of all this, we are completely out of lard sushi. I know we are going to need to order more of these, but I'm just trying to make it easier so they automatically go on the shelves. So we're only ordering one of things when we know we don't have enough shelf space. And then we'll order two when they're completely out, like this. These we know we need a bunch of, so we can fit a bunch. We have 101 items in our cart. <laughs> this is insane. Um, actually, the ham pastry, we can't do two of those. Yeah, and that would be one good thing, is if we did have, a, like, a limited shelf space at that point, we wouldn't have to worry about having no shelf space for things. They can just go wherever, as long as they fit somewhere at that point. So, actually, honestly, I think that might be the way to go. And like I said, all we have to worry about is just keeping a supply of things. That's it at that point. Okay. We still had products without space. Really. 
And look at our army going to... <laughs> Oh my god. This is insane. I love it. Okay. Yeah, we have four left in there. So, like, we can definitely organize these. For sure. See, we won't actually have to worry about this. Like I said, we'll just have, like, unlimited inventory space. Or storage room space. That would be all we'd have to worry about. Is just keeping us five things. We have one left in this box. I think I might just get rid of this, honestly. It might be... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I think I might just get rid of it at that point. Honestly, I'd rather have the box on the shelf and our and our stalker can grab it than not having it at all. We got some kegs. Definitely going to make some room for these. Actually, what I can do is just... Do that, and there we go. And then get rid of this box, and we'll be good. We were still having to stock some stuff, definitely, and, like, worrying about it, but, like, everything is just flowing so much quicker, especially with having all of them. Oh, we got some other kegs. Okay. Uh, three, one, and two we've got, so we can definitely get... Oh, we actually have some space already. Okay, well, I thought this was fully stocked up, but I guess not. Jimmy's. You let us down. <laughs> Anyways, okay, let's get this on the shelf. And then let's get... That's... Hmm. Yeah, see, this is where, like I said, we wouldn't have to... I know it'd be, it's going to be a complete mess of trying to actually find stuff if we need to, but that's what all of our jimmies are for. That's what we're paying them for. At least four of them. <laughs> Anyways, okay. All right. Yeah, so that is... Honestly, I think... Yeah, I don't know. We might switch. We might switch to that setup here, really soon. But like, look at our shelves are already stocked. This is actually crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and open up right away, and we'll get our bills paid because I don't think we did that. Yeah, we definitely did not. I mean, we're not making a ton of money, but we're still making some money for sure. So we're sitting pretty decent, and we should have a good supply of items here still. Get like four more of these, I guess. Since we definitely need more. Get another two of these. Oh, actually, you know what? The small suit should we don't need. We already have an extra box of. We don't need any more of that. We've got another box of that. Toilet paper, we definitely do. Another cleaner. We'll get another one of those. We're good on the turco soda. Guess we'll get another couple of these. Okay. There we go. So we should be sitting pretty good. Where are we at with our checkouts then, too? Because that's obviously going to be the biggest thing of getting that fourth cashier. We're at 1590, so we need 160 more. So we're getting there, just very slowly. <laughs> but that's all right. Okay. People are starting to funnel in, so that's good. I mean, like I said, I think that's going to be the biggest thing is just getting us off the register and on the computer. Um, well, a tablet when we get that here, which like I said, we're probably going to be checking that out next episode. Um, getting us on the tablet to order stuff. Just keeping a good supply of things. And like I said, we might end up switching our inventory system out and get rid of... Honestly, I... I wonder if we can disable... Ooh. That might cause some issues because I just thought of... I think there's a there's an option that we could turn off where they can't just place them on the show. I can't remember. I got I got to look into that to see, but what I'm thinking is if we we can't do the inventory thing without having the labels be, being able to be overwritten, but we have that mod that doesn't allow it to, which also helps with the shelves out here. So if we get rid of that, the organ I don't want to alter the organization out in the store itself. The storage room that can go to crap, honestly. <laughs> But um, I don't really want to. I don't want to mess with our organization out here. So I don't know if that can be altered out here, if we if we start doing it that way. I don't think it would. I think it would be just in there. So we might be okay with that, but we'll have to check that out and see. So I'm not too sure. That's seventy five ninety five for you, ma'am. Thank you. We're almost level 65, too, so we're only about just over five levels away from getting the next set of licenses at this point, which is really awesome. 
I still need to see it, how much we are paying per day for our salaries. I still have not been able to notice that of where we're at with that. So I really need to try to pay attention at the end of the day how much money we have and how much money we have at the start of the day. Got a couple of kegs and a couple of random beers for you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Because, yeah, I mean, all of our stalkers, they are working well now. I think we just kind of bugged the game by hiring and firing them so quickly. Something something bro would broke with that. So we're just going to, I guess, probably stick with where we're at with them and not hire a fire anymore. So that way we're not breaking the game. <laughs> but anyways, everything's flowing really nicely now. Uh, let's see here. We got 57.45 for you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Hmm. Okay, we got some beers and stuff for you, sir. But yeah, like I said in the last episode, I've got a um, trip coming up next week, actually. So I'm going to be pre-recording a bunch of videos here. So the videos are going to be a little bit shorter than normal with stuff, unfortunately. So I apologize for that, guys. But um, i got to get like 20 videos recorded in the next few days. And I also have to work on top of that. So I'm not going to have a ton of free time to do that. So I need to obviously shorten up the videos just a little bit. So we're not going to be running the hour plus long videos that we've been getting on these sometimes. So, um, I hope you guys still enjoy them, but, um, so also one thing that means is if there's any updates or new mods and stuff that comes out, we're going to have a bunch of other videos pre-recorded on top of that to begin with. So we're not going to have, be able to check out those new mods or updates until we get back <laughs> anyway at that point. So, but yeah, so just giving you guys a heads up on that, but we'll be, we'll be back with some more videos, um, back to the regular schedule. Shortly after that, just have to get caught up and, like I said, pre-record a bunch of videos in advance. I'm not too worried about it with the ML with MLB. I know that'll be that'll be okay with that. As far as there's not going to be like any crazy updates or anything like that, but it's mainly this game <laughs> that uh, there probably will be some updates for and some new mods for sure. As always, it seems like there's, it seems like there's new mods pretty much added every day. So I'd, I try not to pre-record too far in advance with the supermarket videos because I know there's always new stuff to be checking out that helps us out and everything. And obviously, you guys want to see the new stuff at that point, too. Okay. We got 25, 30 for you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Yeah, we got... Oh, we're level 65 as well. We get we got 33 grand, 33 grand again. So we're getting back up there. Obviously, it's just we always get depleted when it comes to paying our um, cost of supplies. But we're still making money. It's just not, a, not as quickly as I'd like, honestly. But that's okay. Okay, we got 245 for you, sir. Back. Appreciate it. Oh, we got a lot of items for you here, ma'am. Thank you very much. We got 138.90. Alright, have a nice day. We got 1875 for you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Okay. Let's see here. I think we're sitting, see, like right now, I probably could hop off the register and start ordering some stuff. But at the same time, it's not too bad just to stay on here and help out our cashiers, keep working towards getting the customers checked out so we can get that fourth cashier hired. Because I think we probably could, we don't like super need it, but then we can hop off and stay off the registers full time and just worry about our inventory then pretty much at that point. Get 90 cents for you. Okay, appreciate it, sir. Yeah, I don't know, like I said, I may have to get rid of that. I'm probably going to have to get rid of that mod then of the um, no override of the tags. Either that or I, I got to look into see if we can automatically have the boxes placed on another shelf if there's already a tag there. That'd be the only thing with the uh, easy delivery. I just got to look at the config file for that and see if I can change that. But I think I'm going to get, like I said, the tablet or tablet mod here in the next episode so you guys keep an eye keep an eye out for that but i think that'll be uh, really nice to have that for sure so we can just be running around the store and not having to worry about uh being going back to which i know we could just move the computer out here but honestly i like it in the event in the storage room so i think it would flow well having it back back in or having the tablet to be able to access from anywhere which I know, I think that's something that's said that's coming for the game eventually. It's just not here yet, which I don't really know why. Because, like, every simulator pretty much has a tablet. That's, like, the kind of, like, defining trait of a simulator is, is a tablet. People always joke about that. So I'm honestly really surprised that we don't have one for this game already at that point. Because it's 
would be really helpful. And that's where that mod definitely is nice and will come in handy here. So like I said, we'll be we'll be checking that out here for sure at that point. I just love having all of our stalkers here. This is just so nice. We have almost 40 grand here as well. So that is that is lovely. Okay, uh, no changes needed for you. I mean, honestly, we probably could just stay off the register full time. And it seems like our registers are staying pretty good for the most part, even with our customers. But honestly, maybe I should just start doing that. I don't know. Got some small sushi, some moussaka there. We got some turco soda, which we actually still, I mean, we, we do have space for. It's just not, um, not organized enough yet. So let's grab this. I can, I'm assuming we could probably help out. Oh, wow. Look at that. Honestly, actually almost full. So I'm actually going to empty this out real quick so I can get that other box empty. There we go. Our stalkers should grab that. Yep. I think it's like a priority thing when it's, when it is empty, they will grab or pretty close to empty. They will grab a box right away when they can and do that. Yeah, we're at 1615. So we need another 135. So not too bad with that. Um, let's check our, our stats here. Let's see where we're at um, with today. So we've got only two people bought the cereal. Jeez. Honestly, looking really good. I'm actually just going to end the day off here today. So we have 38,759. Let's see. Oh, uh, six, six products. Okay, we'll have, to, we'll have to find that then. 38,759. So we're not paying anything for employees. Okay. That's kind of what I thought it was, honestly. It seemed like it was it wasn't affected. Okay, I completely I think I saw bleach in there, but I wasn't paying attention. I was paying attention to our money as to what we had for price changes. I'm trying to look through real quick. Yeah, we got bleach and then what else is there? I definitely must have missed it there. All right. Where is it? Dang it. This is annoying. Okay, I must have just missed it again. We're gonna alter the, or we're gonna change the price of the bleach, and I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> so we got uh, six seventy-five. We'll go on that. That works. But yeah, I just want to see what products were found expensive or cheap in our stats. So we got zero, 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 zero. Where is the products that were found expensive? Because there were six of them. Or six customers, I should say, not six products. <laughs> yeah, this is honestly really nice having this, though. We can just use this to look right through here, and we don't have to worry about anything running around the store trying to figure out what is what. Is what. Okay, I'm not seeing anything, so I don't know where... Oh, you know what? It's because we're on the wrong day. That's why. You guys are probably screaming at, screaming at me in the comments. <laughs> Yelling at your phones, TVs, computers. I wasn't even paying attention to the bottom numbers. I was just looking at the two. At what is what with that? Okay, I'm still not seeing anything, honestly. Oh, okay, so hand soap, which honestly, again, that's not even that that much more. It's only 18 cents over market. So I guess we're just going to have to drop it down a bit more. Okay, all I'm seeing is just the... Um, 
the hand soap. So we're just going to adjust that, and we should be good at that. I'm just going to go 260 on that. It's 10 cents. We're dropping it. It's not that much. But, um, yeah, we're going to wrap up the episode here. We're going to come back in the next episode. I'm going to get everything stocked up. Like I said, I'm pretty sure we're going to add the uh, tablet mod here, so I'm going to take a look at that and see if there's any issues with that at all. But um, So if you guys are stoked on that, be sure to drop a like on the video. Show it some love and support. If you guys are new around here checking this out, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you guys don't miss out on any videos that we're doing here. But thank you all very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.